Clive's in Wandsworth. Clive, what do you think? Hi, hello. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, and I think that, uh, rightly or wrongly, from Nigel Farage, it's very important that we speak out. If we want to calm down the situation, we need to bring up their voices in a, you know, in a legal way, because what they're doing is illegal. They, they're rioting. But the problem is, um, they, they saw in the last uh, couple of months the intimidation uh, the government has faced from the Muslim community. I mean, we all remember in Parliament where a session has been cancelled. It's been openly, there's, there's no dispute that it's been openly said by Keir Starmer. He's asked the House uh, uh, Speaker to cancel due to intimidation and, and, and frightening from MPs, from Muslims. So the, these rioters can see what's happening. In, what have the police done then? You know, th- this was a clear message. Uh, uh, the, the, the whole voting, how it went, that, uh, uh, you know, Keir Starmer had his view uh, at that time, what happened in the Middle East, and he changed due to intimidation. So these writers oh. are just doing the same. They, they say, OK, it is the way it will help. We, 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 we will show, we, we will show, and it helps, you know, Keir Starmer. And, and the reason why he's, he's fault here as well. But how does it help? I'll tell you why. Because he, he abolished the Rwanda plan. And he should immediately look into it. I mean, this may be a big part in this. He, he, he's the look Prime into Minister what? The, look into what? In whether he was right to abolish the Rwanda plan, because this <sighs> has angered people. People felt... Well, he was, he was elected on a platform to abolish the Rwanda plan. Well, that's the point. He, he was elected uh, uh, as Prime Minister um, for certain things uh, because people were so fed up with conservative. Mm-hmm. However, we can now see well, it's not so simple because uh, he... He's only he, been in a month, as, to be fair, but... but... But the point is that the police... Look, the previous government had it so difficult with the police. They had to, like... It was like an open uh, a dispute between the previous government and the police to, 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 re, to, to protect certain communities from the Muslim community, what happened here in the UK. And, and today the government, they are like the chief of the police. And it goes so simple. So we can see the difference how the police act when it comes to uh, the, the, you know, the, the British people, the white people, and then when it comes to certain uh, immigrants. A- another point I want to make to you, um, you you're 100% right. Uh, whoever says we should stop entirely uh, immigration is foolish. You can't. It, it's just the system of the world. However... Well, I wouldn't you, want to. I wouldn't want to either. Not that well, we can't. We, I wouldn't want to. Well, but you also want to protect your children, don't, don't, don't yeah. you? You want to have a safe country here. Well, I yeah. don't know what that's got to do with immigration, though. Well, it, because, because the problem is, if, if we wouldn't have... Uh, uh, if there would be no uh, uh, immigration from Islamic countries, we wouldn't have the bombings here uh, as we had but, in the seven seven. But that's uh, face fact. Uh, well, let uh, me ask you another. Well, no, question. no, no. But hold on. Look at yeah. some of the famous cases we've had in the. I mean, look at Lucy Letby, for example, who was who was the nurse who was found to murder babies. Where were the, where were the riots about her? Because why why would stopping the, immigration have, have prevented that from happening? Because the difference is. This is a single person. Here, people are afraid. People are frightened. Communities were frightened the last couple of months. The government has said it. I mean, Rishi Sunak has given a speech, an open speech, how communities are frightened. And the police ignored. They didn't do. We all know this. They, at least they didn't do what they should have done. And the problem is here. There is a problem, and we all agree there's a problem with, with, with the Muslim community. I mean, l- like, look into Google. You've got access. How many of the Muslim community want Sharia law? I don't know. I haven't well, asked well, them. Well, it takes me... I, I've just done it now. Uh, 38%. It Do you have any Muslim friends, Clive? I beg your pardon? Do you have any Muslim friends? Yes. What do sure, they say they when, you, when you hear them asking about whether they like Sharia law? No, they agree with me. They, they, they are also angry on the government that they're allowed these stupid... Do they, want, do they want Sharia law, your friends? No. So the Muslims that you know don't want Sharia law, but all of the other Muslims do? 
Well, not all of the other Muslims. You need to listen to me. I said, look into Google. There are a very big amount. When you have immigrants from all the other countries, they come here to enjoy the UK. The problem we have, there's people coming here and trying to overrun the UK. They want the parliament to be MPs for Gaza. No, they, they don't. don't want MPs for, for, for houses, for living, for, for business. It's a different culture. Don't you see this? I don't say well, this. They are saying this. MPs for Gaza. But they, I mean, that's that's to one side. That's that's people who've it's been elected. It's not my I, side. It's well, on their side. But I, I don't understand the. So would you halt all Muslim immigration then? Any we check people's religion before they come to the country. Look. It definitely has to be looked into it. It can't be ignored. These people are writing is because they're being ignored. And, and that's I, why Nigel... Well, in, some, in some cases, you are right, but there's, that doesn't excuse racist people who are out there looting shops, does it? 100% not. That's my point. This is a minority. The, the majority also, of people... Clive, if we, not... cut off, if we say to Muslims, you, you all believe in Sharia law, we're not going to let any more Muslims... How would the Muslims here feel, who are already... No. Who, who are British, by the way, who were born in this country? The Muslims here must understand that they came to this country because they want, they want to enjoy a living in this country, not... But, they want to come here to but a, they do, a country. Clive. I go well, to again, I go to Arsenal it, it, quite a lot, and loads well, of the Arsenal good, fans well, are, are Muslims, and we talk about the game, and we say people say, "Oh, they haven't integrated themselves." They listen, have. Yeah, of course there are, and they are against immigration. These people are against the other people coming here because they want they want to immigrate. Of course there are good people, but the problem that we have rioters is, is that the, the the government just came in, abolished the Rwanda the plan and going back to square one these people feel lost they they don't know what's going to be but the Rwanda here. plan didn't work did it well it just started don't it abolish didn't. it was it. announced Try in to... june it was it announced fixed. in june 2022 there were two so, years so that's why you want to bring in more immigrants and people are afraid they're frightened these people don't they are not afraid of being in jail they want their children to be safe who are they... these people these people are a minority of the majority of us who are supporting them. These people can see and hear of the majority of the UK supporting them, not the violence, not the writers, but their view, their message. And, and that's why they are so strong and keep on writing. They know that people don't support the government. They support them. People are frightened. People have seen what happened the last seven months. A, a, a parliament has been cancelled as session due to intimidation from people on the streets. Is that something people... Well, what's going on here? What the hell is going on in the UK? Well, there, I mean, there, there was a, a issue at one point with MPs getting into the building, but it wasn't a whole parliamentary session. There was still, there was still um, debates that went on.